To become a top level expert, you need your mind to perform at optimum levels. To have your mind perform at optimum levels, you need enough sleep. A couple of weeks ago, I attended the annual convention of our local Professional Speakers Association, and one of the opening keynotes was by Joni Petty, who gave a fascinating talk on what sleep does to the brain and what lack of sleep does to your mind. Joni is the CEO of Resilient People and an international speaker. And when she laid out the case for what happens to your brain under sleep deprivation, it horrified the room. The problem, of course, is that most people who are sleep deprived are trying to measure the effects of that deprivation with the broken instrument itself. So they don't realize how bad it is or how they're trying to think their way through a fog. Get one week of good sleep and it changes everything for you. Now, Joni shared a great deal of tips and insights in terms of how you practically go about doing that. She's the expert on that one, not me. But here's one that I took to heart and which I will be changing. I often recommend doing a great deal of reading as part of becoming a top performing expert. But here's a change that I will make based on her advice. In the mornings when I wake up, I start my day by reading a chapter of Harvard Business Review. Then during the day, I might read a chapter here or there of different books that I'm uh, immersed in, and I might listen to something on Audible. However, that stops after the sun goes down. You've probably heard the advice that you shouldn't be staring at a computer screen before going to bed because it lights up parts of the mind that then take a long time to calm down again, preventing good sleep. Well, apparently nonfiction does the same thing. Better to read a story before you go to bed. So that's the change that I've made based on her advice. You can make that change too, and it will be an easy one. Continue to increase your body of knowledge through reading, but at night, well, that's story time.